Most of the IoT devices before, basically uh, when they came out, it was still connected to the internet. So if it's connected to the internet, a natural destination is actually to the cloud. However, as IoT devices mature and evolve over the years, we're just not just picking up bits of simple pieces of data, like numeric information. For example, it used to be just temperature, used to be just maybe a CO2 level. But now we're getting a lot more devices, which is camera, which is images. If you transmit images, internet to cloud, it's going to be very heavy. So from that standpoint, there has to be a new way of how we basically take these kind of new IoT data, store it, compute it, learn it, and analyze it. I think for companies, if they have an initial starting point of looking at IoT, based on the business factors that they want to go and tackle, the first thing they have to do is see is what kind of information they want to achieve and, and retrieve, right? Again, if it's numeric data, if it's a scale is very small, cloud itself is a good way of doing so. Uh, especially because it's fast, especially a lot of toolkits are already there, a lot of the cloud providers are already doing that, helping it out, and start to basically flush out that business model on how IoT is helping the business. Then if you go see as, the, as far as different needs applications, if you get to the heavy duty stuff, if you want to get involved in the AI stuff, then you're going to think about, hmm, maybe should I talk in a different kind of an edge environment in treating IoT. A lot of the applications that we see right now sitting in cloud is pretty much the interface of data and user. So example, the data goes to the cloud, the cloud basically reports it via the interface back to the user. That's most of the information we see. There's starting to be a little bit more analytics and all that stuff, but what we see is uh, it's still not the heavy duty analytics that we want. It's still the dashboarding information of reporting. Data itself has a life cycle. The faster you treat it, the more real time you treat it, the value is the highest. But of course, it becomes longer and after you treat it, it becomes batch information. So the value relatively goes down, but we still need to treat it because we have to aggregate it to become a big data kind of analytics in the future. Uh, we saw that the rideshare companies are using cloud. Uh, Rideshare companies are basically taking the sensor information from the uh, from the, um, the taxi drivers, and then uh, they're trying to map with demand. So a lot of the demand, of course, some of them is real time, but some of it is also historical. For example, during peak hours, that they can predict what the peak hours are, they pre-anticipate asking the drivers to actually go ahead so that it can fill the demand faster, and it's going to be reducing less blockage on the road. Um, in, I think that most of the challenges we see is basically how they basically take that information and translate it back to business values. Most of the information that they capture right now is pretty much, uh, some of the information is useful, but is not the real value of it because they're not really exchanging it with other sets of information to what they called um, interpolated uh, and the analytics. Okay. 5G itself is basically talking about speeds. So when a sensor picks up information, it sends it much faster than now, which is good. But then the key of basically getting information out and reporting all of that still relies on the server which picks it up, analyze it and give it back to the user. It's just like if you go to a McDonald's, you go very fast into the counter but that person is not serving you fast enough. You're not gonna get your burger fast enough. So we are talking about latency in general, and latency relies on strong infrastructure and a strong platform to support it. I think going forward, uh, IoT means intelligence. We need to get to the intelligence point in order to really find the value of IoT. So with AI, machine learning, all that, it's not just only the sensor information that picks up, it's the history and the correlated data that comes in. And we try to basically learn new behavior and predict new things will happen. I think the key is to look into interconnection, right? Good connectivity is important, no doubt about that, right? But putting your suppliers, 
providers, the blockage of information that you had before, and predictive engines and learning engines together at an interconnected location, it is going to be key. Right? Not only it reduces latency, it basically fosters an exchange of traffic, exchange of data. Learning machines are going to be more and more distributed at edges. Platforms will be basically going to that direction. It's because what I mentioned before, data treated fast, the value is the highest.